Okay, today I want to show you how to install IDTK or InDesign Toolkit uh, in your system. Currently, there is just only the the free version available, and uh, but the, the the paid version will be available very soon as well. So, first of all, you need to go to one of these addresses, either the website, uh, the Toolkit website, or the plugins website which is uh, three dots dot fr slash id hyphen toolkit uh, and there you can uh, find some information about the about the toolkit and also download it uh, here uh, where it says uh, how to install you can uh, you can find the link to the uh, to the file right here and you can click and it will uh, prompt you to download the file or you can go to the Adobe Exchange website it's not uh, it's not in their website yet but it's gonna be soon I am gonna put the link uh, in the in the descriptions of this video all of these uh, three links uh, the other option is going to github and finding the three dots uh, uh, URL and then under three dots, you can find a link, a, a repository uh, named IDTK. You click on it, and then you go to free folder, and there you can find uh, different uh, uh, available versions of the free version uh, of the extension. Uh, right now, there is both the same, but uh, the idea is uh, the second one uh, is without Java being embedded and the second the first one is with Java embedded for just 64 bit uh, systems so but right now I they are both the same thing so we can download it from uh, any of these sites you just download it and then when it was downloaded you just uh, go and uh, you need to close the InDesign, but I just left it open, so uh, you can see what will happen. Okay, after you downloaded it, you double click on it, and here and then uh, the extension manager will be open, and you just click OK. Yes, uh, here you got the the prompt. It's asking you to uh, to close the InDesign. You can choose the uh, can choose the option to uh, restart in design automatically when the when the plugin was installed okay we're gonna say no okay retry and of course I have it already installed so uh, yeah okay it's asking me to do this again which is weird Okay, so here we have it. We just need to open InDesign and then we have it right here. It added a menu item to my uh, main menu in InDesign, which I can uh, access, access the plugin from there. Now, uh, I should mention as well that if you if you have a new document you can't open the extension because uh, it needs to it, it needs to know where you saved your document so you need to save your document before running the extension otherwise you get this error message um, so let's open the, the document and here you can I'm just gonna do a quick run as a end to this demonstration. Voila. Okay.